Twenty Quick Soups by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohr. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Matt Rohr. Twenty Quick Soups by Mrs. S. T. Rohr. Cream of Asparagus. Wash one bundle of asparagus. Cut off the tips and throw them into a pint of boiling water. Add a teaspoon of salt and simmer gently for 15 minutes. Strain them and save the water. To this water, add the remaining part of the bundle, cut into small pieces. Cook 15 minutes and press through a colander. Put one quart of milk into a double boiler. Rub together two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. Add a little of the hot milk to this and work until perfectly smooth. Then stir into the milk and cook five minutes. Heat the asparagus mixture. Turn the milk quickly into it. Season. Add the asparagus tips and serve. This cannot be boiled or it will curdle. Cream of Corn Score each row of grains on six ears of corn. Then, with the back of the knife, press it out carefully and throw the cobs into a kettle. Cover with a quart of water. Bring to boiling point and strain now add the scraped corn to the water. Rub together two tablespoonfuls of butter and one of flour. Stir it into this corn mixture and bring to boiling point. Then add one pint of hot milk, season, and serve. Cream of Lettuce Wash and pull apart two good-sized heads of lettuce. Throw them into a hot saucepan. Shake over the fire until the lettuce leaves simply melt. Sprinkle over a teaspoonful of salt, then press through a sieve. Put one quart of milk in a double boiler. Rub together two tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour. Add it to the milk and stir until it thickens. Chop sufficient parsley to make two tablespoonfuls and pound it in a mortar. Put this in a bowl. Mix it with the lettuce that has been pressed through the sieve. Stir in the milk. Then add a half teaspoonful of beef extract, dissolved in a little of the hot milk. Season and serve. Cream of Beets Take four cold boiled beets and grate them. Dissolve a teaspoonful of beef extract in one pint of boiling water. Add it to the beets, and when they reach the boiling point, add one pint of hot milk. Stir in a tablespoon of butter palatable seasoning of salt, and when it reaches the boiling point, add tablespoonful of arrowroot, dissolved in two tablespoonfuls of cold water. Bring to the boiling point again and serve. Tomato Soup Cut six large tomatoes into small pieces. Put them into a saucepan with one pint of water, or stock. Add tablespoonful of butter, slice of onion, bay leaf, and a sprig of parsley. Cook slowly 20 minutes and press through a sieve sufficiently fine to remove the seeds. Return the soup to the fire. Add tablespoonful of arrowroot, moistened in two tablespoonfuls of cold water, another tablespoonful of butter, and a palatable seasoning of salt and pepper, and serve with squares of toasted bread. Clear Tomato with Sago Put one pint of stewed tomato into a saucepan. Add slice of onions, bay leaf, and sprig of parsley. Simmer ten minutes. Cover four tablespoonfuls of pearl sago with a pint of cold water and soak for twenty minutes. Now stand this over the back part of the stove until the sago is perfectly clear and the water almost boiling hot. Add to the tomatoes one pint of boiling water, and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Then press through a sieve. Return to the fire, add a teaspoonful of salt, half teaspoonful of pepper, and then the sago. Serve at once. This soup may be varied by adding, instead of the pint of water to the tomatoes, a pint of stock. Brown broth. Boil and cut into dice one young carrot, one onion, and one potato. Put two ounces of butter in the frying pan. Throw in the vegetables and stir carefully until they are a golden brown. 
then skim them out and put them in a saucepan cover with one quart of boiling water add a bay leaf and simmer gently twenty minutes press through a puree sieve return these to the kettle add a teaspoonful of kitchen bouquet and palatable seasoning of salt and pepper serve with cheese balls cheese balls put a tablespoonful of butter and a quarter of a cup of water over the fire to boil stir in quickly a quarter of a cup of flour and stir for a minute take from the fire and add one well-beaten egg and two tablespoonfuls of grated cheese drop this mixture into a greased baking pan and bake in a quick oven fifteen minutes the paste should not be larger than a good-sized bean as you drop it on the pan a very good way to make them is to put this mixture in a pastry bag and press it through a plain tube and cut it off into small balls bisque of clam drain fifty small clams bring the liquor to boiling point and skim chop the clams fine add them to the liquor and cook gently for ten minutes then press through a sieve put one quart of milk into a double boiler add to it a bay leaf rub together two tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour and stir carefully into the milk cook slowly until it thickens now add a teaspoonful of onion juice or grated onion and turn in the clam mixture stir carefully for a moment season with salt and pepper and serve remember this must not be boiled after the clam has been added to the milk if you have white stock in the house the soup is greatly improved by having instead one quart of milk one pint of milk and a pint of stock club clam soup drain fifty small clams then chop them fine mix the liquor and the clams and add one quart of cold water about two tablespoonfuls of chopped ham one large onion sliced thin quarter of a teaspoonful of mace and a sprig of parsley bring this slowly to a boiling point rub together two tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour stir them into the soup carefully add just a dash of salt and a quarter teaspoonful of pepper bring to boiling point then take from the fire and turn in one pint of hot milk to which you have just added the well-beaten yolks of four eggs stir quickly and serve with squares of toasted bread mock oyster soup select about one dozen roots of salsify scrape them and throw at once into cold water to prevent discoloration cut the salsify crosswise into thin slices put them into one quart of cold water and add about two ounces of codfish this is best in one solid piece simmer gently for thirty minutes and remove the codfish have ready one pint of milk heated in a double boiler add it to the salsify then stir in carefully one tablespoonful of butter and two of flour that have been rubbed to a smooth paste season with salt and pepper then just as you take it from the fire add another teaspoonful of butter cut into pieces and it is ready to serve cucumber tapioca soup boil three good-sized cucumbers cut them into slices and cover them with one quart of white stock simmer gently for twenty minutes then press through a sieve soak two tablespoonfuls of pearl tapioca in one pint of milk in a cold place for one hour stand this in a double boiler and heat slowly until the tapioca is perfectly clear heat the cucumber mixture add a teaspoonful of salt teaspoonful of onion juice and quarter teaspoonful of pepper turn into the hot milk have ready in the tureen the yolks of two eggs, well beaten. Pour the soup over, gradually. Quick, clear soup. Put one pound of finely chopped meat into one pint of cold water. Beat it for about a minute with an egg beater and let it stand for 30 minutes while you prepare the flavoring. Stir one tablespoonful of beef extract into a quart of boiling water. Add a tablespoonful of grated onion and one bay leaf. Now bring the meat to boiling point. Strain in a colander, 
Beat the white and shell of one egg with two tablespoonfuls of cold water. Put the soup you have strained from the meat over the fire, and when boiling, add to the egg mixture. Bring to boiling point and strain through two thicknesses of cheesecloth. Then add this to the beef extract mixture. Season with teaspoonful of salt and quarter teaspoonful of pepper, and it is ready to serve. This may be served with two tablespoonfuls of boiled rice or boiled macaroni, or with fresh rings of cucumbers. To prepare these rings, cut a large cucumber into slices, crosswise. With a round cutter, stamp them out just as much as you can to remove the skin, and then, with a smaller cutter, stamp out the seeds. Throw these rings into boiling salted water and boil for 20 minutes. Strain and put in the soup, or the soup may be served a la royale. Beat two eggs until well mixed. Add two tablespoonfuls of stock, half teaspoonful of salt, and a quarter teaspoonful of pepper. Now add two tablespoonfuls of milk or cream and turn into a small buttered basin or mold. Stand this mold in a pan of boiling water and cook gently, either in the oven or on the top of the stove, until the custard is set. When cold, cut into blocks or into fancy shapes. Put this in the tureen and pour over the soup. Bisque of Salmon Wash well a half cup of rice. Put it into a quart of water and boil rapidly for 30 minutes. Then press it through a puree sieve and add to it the salmon from a one-pound can, removing first all the bones, skin, and oil. Now press this again through a sieve. Add a teaspoonful of salt, bay leaf, tablespoonful of grated onion, and half teaspoonful of pepper. Stand it over the back part of the stove until it is steaming hot. Heat one quart of milk in a double boiler. Rub together two tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour. Stir this carefully into the milk and stir until perfectly smooth and thick. Then add a level teaspoonful of salt. Turn this mixture into the other, remove the bay leaf, bring to scald point, and serve. If you like this soup a little deeper color, add a few drops of cochineal. Halibut may be used in precisely the same way, of course, keeping the soup perfectly white. Current Soup This soup may be made from any sort of fresh tart fruit. It should be served for lunch perfectly cold, in either punch or bouillon cups. Put one pint of currants and one pint of water over the fire and bring to scalding point. Add half cup of sugar. Press through a puree sieve, return to the fire, and add one tablespoonful of arrowroot, moistened in two tablespoonfuls of water. Bring to boiling point until the soup is clear, then stand away to cool. If you use wine, add two tablespoonfuls of white wine. Cherries, cranberries, and strawberries may be used in the same way, adding more or less sugar, according to the kind of fruit. But these soups should not be sweet. Use just enough sugar to make them palatable. Chocolate Soup Put three tablespoonfuls of cocoa into a double boiler and add gradually one pint of boiling water. Stir for at least five minutes over the fire. Add four tablespoonfuls of sugar. Take from the fire and add a teaspoonful of vanilla. Turn this into one pint of cracked ice and when the soup is cold, turn into the serving cups and put on the surface a tablespoonful of whipped cream and serve. Cream of Chestnut Soup Shell and blanch one pound of large chestnuts. Cover them with a quart of boiling water. Add a slice of onion, piece of celery chopped, a bay leaf, sprig of parsley, and a dash of paprika. Cover and boil 30 minutes. Press first through a colander, then add one pint of milk. Return the whole to the fire. Rub together two tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour. Add to the soup. Cook a minute. Add a palatable seasoning of salt, and then press the whole through a puree sieve. Make hot and serve with croutons. 
pistachio soup. Wash one quart of nice spinach. Pick each leaf from the stem and throw into a saucepan. Stand over the fire for a moment, shaking so that the spinach will not discolor. Sprinkle over a teaspoon of salt. As soon as the spinach begins to wilt, drain and chop very fine, then pound it to a paste. Put one quart of milk into a double boiler. Add one teaspoonful of almond paste, unsweetened, and two ounces of pistachio nuts, chopped to a powder. Cover and cook twenty minutes. Add spinach, one tablespoonful of butter, one of arrowroot, moistened, and press through a puree sieve. Add a teaspoonful of salt, dash of paprika, and serve. Nice for a green lunch. Ye food for ye gods. Peel half pound of good fresh mushrooms. Remove the lower part of stems. Wash the mushrooms and chop them very fine with a silver knife. Put them in a saucepan with one quart of good chicken stock. Cover and simmer gently 30 minutes. Add a teaspoonful of salt and simmer 10 minutes longer. Put two tablespoonfuls of butter in another saucepan. Add three tablespoonfuls of fine flour. Mix and cook a minute without browning. Add a half pint of thick cream to the mushrooms. Then add the whole to the butter and flour. Stir constantly until it just comes to boiling point. Add dash of white pepper and serve in bouillon cups. Serve with whole wheat bread toasted in oven. Oatmeal Soup Add one cup of cold cooked oatmeal to one quart of water. Add a slice of onion, sprig of celery top, bay leaf, teaspoonful of salt, salt spoonful of pepper, Cover and boil slowly 10 minutes. Add a half teaspoonful of beef extract, or if you have stock, use it in place of water. Now press through a sieve. Return to the fire. When boiling, add half pint of hot milk and serve. End of 20 Quick Soups by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohrer